Your data lives in many places. CRMs, ERPs, sheets, legacy systems, and more. This information is often siloed and difficult to manage without technical skill sets. Datatable enables you to store your data and sync your information into Smartsheet. This gets your data into one place so you can use it more effectively to derive meaning. We'll show you how this capability can help you create and store millions of rows of data so that you can collaborate and act on your info. To access Datatable, click the Browse icon on the left panel. You'll find the icon for Datatables at the top. From this screen, you can create a new data table or click to edit any that already exist. You can also see a list of your data tables on the right. You can see how many records each one contains and the last time each data table was updated. To create a new data table, click the Create button in the upper right. When you do this, you'll get two options. One, create a blank data table. Two, from OneDrive, Google Drive, Box, or Smartsheet attachment. We recommend using the second option so that you can both create a new table and populate it with your data in one simple process. Once the second option is selected, you need to confirm that you want to continue to Data Shuttle to build your data table. Log in to Data Shuttle, then walk through the guided steps to create the data table. This includes selecting your source file, your target data table, and any filters you'd like to put on your data. If you select a cloud storage drive as the source, you can set up a schedule to automate a data upload to ensure up-to-date information of your data table. Once you finish the steps, choose Publish and Run to create the data table and to load the data set. You'll see a screen that will show you when the steps are completed. Once you've created your data table, you can see information in your data table page, including any sheet connections that have been created, a preview of the data that exists within the data table, and its settings. Now that you have a data table and uploaded information to it, the next step is to connect its information with one of your sheets so you can create metrics and collaborate with your team. There are two ways to pull data into your sheet from a data table. One, add an update mode. Two, lookup mode. You would use add and update mode to populate your sheet with a subset of your data based on filter criteria. For example, you may want to pull in all data related to geographic locations, lines of business, or types of requests. You'd use lookup mode when you want to merge data using a unique identifier from your data table to the sheet rows. These identifiers might be part numbers, transaction records, or product SKUs. The add and update mode wizard walks you through the process. First, select which data table you need to pull data from. Next, create filter criteria to determine what data from your data table to pull into your sheet. Then, map data table fields with the sheet columns. Next, determine how you want your data to change as information in your data table changes. Lastly, confirm the setup of the connection you just created. Once you've confirmed your data table connection, your sheet will automatically be populated with the filter criteria information from your data table. Alternatively, if you use lookup mode, you'll walk through similar steps. First, select which data table you want your sheet to connect with. Then, select which column indicates your unique identifier. This column helps ensure your information is consistent across platforms. Next, map data table fields to your sheet columns. Lastly, confirm the connection that you just set up. Once you've confirmed your data table connection, test it out by typing in a unique identifier. That covers our introduction to data table. Wave siloed info goodbye and start making more informed decisions. To keep growing your skills, check out the Smartsheet Help and Learning Center.